We're back at the Students for Liberty conference. And I want to ask you, how many of you are carrying a gun now? Yeah, you're in Washington, D.C. You would be jailed if you carried a gun. But should you be allowed to carry a gun on your campus? Really, you are college students, and you are known for getting wasted and doing stupid things. And you want guns? Yeah. All right, well, Crayley Vaness of a group called Students for Concealed Carry says it is important that students be allowed to have guns and conceal them. Crayley, why? Uh, first of all, students are still people. We still have rights. Uh, <laughs> Um, creating a gun-free zone is it, it's effectually impossible. And that's what a lot of colleges do. They say this is a gun-free zone. The smart thing that a smart criminal will do is find someone who is not able to fight back. You create an entire population of vulnerable students when you tell them that they can't, with a license even, carry a firearm for self-protection. And you're not saying all students, you're saying obey the state age laws. Some of the students are quite young, but of the, whatever the age majority is. What about my point about all the people getting drunk? It's already illegal to carry while you're drinking, so the whole mixing guns and alcohol argument, that's already illegal. The whole argument is that criminals aren't following the laws. People who are following the laws need to be able to protect themselves. A few universities do allow concealed carry. Colorado State began allowing it in 2003. Violent crime there is down 60 percent. Colorado University kept its carry ban. Violent crime is up 35 percent. When you create a victim-rich environment, a gun-free zone, it just attracts criminals. It's a natural response. And we cherry-picked Colorado, but there is data in 27 years, a study of all states, no state showed an increase in gun violence as a result of legalizing concealed carry. And more places are legalizing it now. Mm -hmm. Even Illinois has permits now. So, like, but I even think... Even Illinois? Because Illinois, Illinois is a really backward state? It's not so much that they're backwards. It's that, you know, they're, they're learning. Where do you... <laughs> Do you have questions for Crayley? Please come up. Hi, my name is Eric Higus. I'm originally from California, but I go to school out here in DC, so two places that aren't very f uh, friendly to guns. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was wondering, um, what kind of education programs or what kind of message have you given to get people over the stigma that guns have, that guns are bad and that they kill people? What has been effective? So guns do kill people. People kill people. People kill people. <laughs> I'm really glad you brought that up too. One of the things that we've found is uh, giving people exposure to firearms. A lot of people have never held one in their life. They've been misled by Hollywood or certain senators who think that things like ghost guns exist or that there are, that you know, a regular 5.56 five, round is a heat seeking bullet. <laughs> uh, one, one thing that we do is we'll actually, we'll raffle uh, gun safety courses where that have a live fire portion, or we'll just have people come in who are students just like they are, who've had a different experience, and it's, it's contact with firearms and with people who carry firearms. You realize they're not crazy, they're not violent. People who carry firearms generally have a really great sense of responsibility because you're raised with it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bjarne O'Brien, and I used to attend Simmons College in Boston, which is a small all-women's college, on the Emerald Necklace, which is one of the highest rape areas in the major city. And in our school, we weren't even allowed to carry pepper spray, and I lived on campus, so I had absolutely no form of defense. And when I asked one of the major heads of security at our school what I should do to defend myself, she recommended that I just carry hairspray, because apparently it'll sting someone <laughs> in the eyes. What would you recommend doing in that situation? Because I definitely don't feel safe. I've heard so many stories like yours. I've been in your situation before, and it's really terrible. The university is not your parents. They're not in charge of you. They don't tell you, you know, what measures you can or can't take to protect yourself. 
But and, and to be clear, you are winning the war. Idaho recently legalized concealed carry, Colorado, Kansas, Mississippi, Oregon, Utah, Wisconsin already on campus. Mm -hmm. Take a self-defense class. Your university might have one. If they don't, it might be easier for you to lobby for your university to get one of those than to get a gun course right now or to allow carry.